I top billing. This is kind of a continuation from the potential Marcel Brooks transfer. And it's got me thinking. People were talking about what Marcel Brooks could be in the future, this and that. And I'm like, man. The current Marcel Brooks somehow is still in Baton Rouge. And that is former five-star freak athlete Jacoby Stevens, probably the hardest hitter in college football. I don't think people understand the type of premium athletes that LSU has at his disposal. I remember Jacoby Stevens first and foremost as a wide receiver. I thought he was going to be a star wide receiver. He even played at LSU his first year as a wide receiver. And he was a damn good wide receiver too, right? So... It's just a matter of circumstances, having a ton of good receivers already on the team and needing to find something to do with your freak athlete and him being versatile enough to play on the defensive side of the ball that has this man looking like the next Isaiah Simmons or the original Isaiah Simmons. But when we last saw Isaiah Simmons on the field, it was that freak Jacoby Stevens, the hybrid that was making an impact that I believe may have changed the scope of the national championship game. When this scud missile... Shit happened right here. I was like, damn, Clemson might be in trouble, right? Overthrow the Amari Rodgers. Buyout. Jacoby Stevens, look at this shit. He put that man in Gumby status, right? Man had Gumby hips, Gumby neck, everything right there. Your body's not supposed to bend like that, right? Unless you're some type of ambidextrous stripper or something like that. And I don't think Amari Rodgers has gotten to that point in time in his career that he's an ambidextrous stripper. This man, I think, created that turn that I'll be, I'll be telling you guys about the stool softener because he had to have softened Amari Rogers' stool right there. Look at that. Amari Rogers is done. You see it right there? Air sleeping. Right? He's out on his feet. Weekend at Bernie's status. He was gone. That was a devastating hit, man. Now, people were talking about, like, was it late and all this and that? It wasn't called, so I don't know what to tell you. It wasn't called that. All it was was a continuation, right? Right in play, in my opinion. Not late, but he stool softened the hell out of Amari Rodgers right there. You can see it in the Clemson eyes. Look at their eyes. Look at the linemen. Look at Trevor Lawrence here. He's like, oh, shit. Beyond that, though, just check out how this guy was used. You talk about being in hybrid, right? You have to be able to do a myriad of things and be able to be positioned in a myriad of roles here. So we see him right there off screen at a post safety. Check out the range to get to the numbers here. Uh, pick that bad boy off way back, right? In a deep third coverage, you got a six foot one, nearly 230 pound safety. Right, think about this. This dude is that there's a guy cover that used to play with LSU for the Atlanta Falcons is a linebacker named Deion Jones. He's roughly the same size as Deion Jones. Imagine that. And he's playing at a post safety. Come on, man. You can look at it from this particular angle here. Covering some ground. First and foremost, you wouldn't want to get hit by this guy going like that. But man, you can sort of finesse part of his game in the range here. Right? He should probably think Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons put himself on the map, and that in turn will put this man on the map because people are going to be looking for the next Isaiah Simmons, and he's very much that now. As far as what he'll run, what i like to see for Jacoby Stevens is, though, I think he should get in a little bit better shape, right? I think that he kind of beefed up almost a linebacker size. I would like to see him more at like 220. 217, 218, then I think he could possibly hit the four fours. Kids got some serious speed. All right, this is where I really like him. I re where I really think he can make some money for himself. Being able to play man coverage on freak tight ends just because of his size and athleticism. Now, we see him going against the very best in the country here, Kyle Pitts, right? Well, the co-best in the country, along with my boy Pat Fryermuth up at Penn State here. But check this out. Let's check it from another angle. All right, here he is right here. Man coverage working against Kyle Pitts on his best route, sharp slant. Nope. No, sir. Jacoby Stevens, Uslan. Remember, he was moved, I believe, the corner first. He's played like 40 different positions. He's still pretty raw if you really think about it. So, look at him. Still being patient, right? Here we go here. Patient. Squared up. Waiting for you to make a move so he can react, right? You don't have to be over overactive, and you make a move before they make a move. Trust your athleticism and your instinct, and trust your technique as well. Staying in the hip pocket here. Great throw by Kyle Trask. But look, Kobe Stevens is just all over it. Get some a POB, play on ball there. 
right? Losing him on the back end, using him as an overhang defender, using him in man coverage against tight ends and inside wide receivers. That's being a hybrid. All right, here we go right here. Speaking of overhang defender, check this out. It's a great feat of athleticism. Front facing play action fake. Got an out route going on by the tight end. Jacoby Stevens in the face of the quarterback. Look at that. Get up for the downstroke. Pack the ball with two hands like when you was playing basketball, right, and people was clapping your shit against the backboard. Ain't never happened to me. Ain't nobody clapped mine against no backboard now. Like Get out of here with that. But look, you think he's going to outrun Jacoby Stevens? Sideline to sideline, not happening. No sir, Reed Bob, right? Did he get a, a, a pass deflection and a tackle on the same play? Can they register it like that? I don't think I've ever heard of that before, right? Can, can that happen? Somebody let me know. He got two stats on one play. All right, last one right here. We can see Jacoby Stevens way back here, right? Looks like some type of two deep coverage. The, the play is already underway, though, but you see Kellen Mond trying to launch the ball down. Might be fourth down or something like that, and they have to go to the end zone. But look who comes up with it, right? Kellen Mont launches it. Look who's there. Way downfield using that former wide receiver trait that he has. Gets up for it. Uh, two hands. Skies up for it for no reason. <laughs> Gets it at his highest point. Uh, Kobe Stevens for you, man. So, there you have it, man. I just wanted to check in on my boy Jacoby Stevens. I've done a ton of stuff on him. He's one of my absolute favorite football players. Ever since he was in high school, I saw him put it on people, pause at the wide receiver position in camps, and then um, seeing him come into college and play a myriad of positions and finally being able to settle in. So we know in the 4-3 defense, obviously, he'll be a safety. At the next level, though, I can very much see him being some type of weak side linebacker, especially if he stays the size that he is, nearly 230 pounds. Uh, he's just a great player. So, in my opinion, man, Marcel Brooks could learn from a kid like this, man, if he were to stay on campus at Baton Rouge. Uh, obviously, we don't know what's going on with Marcel Brooks. I don't care what people say, to be honest with you. have been in this business long enough, like I have, you know, to, to take what people say with a grain of salt because people are going to say what's in their best interest because this is a – this is a business where you're in the public eye. You're going to want to make yourself look the best. So chances are he didn't think Jacoby Stevens would be there for a senior season. He thought that Jacoby Stevens' job would simply be his this season. Sit out or play a hybrid role for one year, then step into a safety role. Jacoby Stevens leaves like most thought he would be. But shows you how great LSU's roster is. Jacoby Stevens is still there as a senior leader, and he will have a huge season, man. Do not sleep on LSU. I'm telling you that right now. All right? But make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's the Underground King, Murph Baldwin, and I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.